What if one of the biggest contributors to climate change could be turned into one of the most powerful solutions? This man was just trying to get rid of the weeds on his ranch when he stumbled upon a way to remove CO2 from the atmosphere. In 1998, John Wick and his wife moved from San Francisco to a ranch in Northern California. But right away, there were problems. Cows from a neighboring ranch were roaming freely and destroying his land. So the first order of business was to get rid of the cows. Once we got rid of the cows, we thought we were done and that things would become easy for us. It didn't work out that way. Once the cows were gone, the ground dried out and weeds invaded the land. So I took it seriously and we had 20 men come and we pulled every weed on the ranch and it got worse. The next year, more weeds came, 10,000 weeds came where every one weed had been. A rangeland ecologist told John he needed to bring back the cows to combat the weeds, but the cows had to be used in just the right way. The cattle had to be moved constantly from one plot of land to another. That's because if cows stay in one place too long, they eat everything on the ground and destroy the soil. So the first year we brought in 250 cows and we moved them across the ranch, just the right amount for them and for the grass, and it worked. By the next summer, the land had completely repaired itself. The grass had deep roots and the soil was holding a ton of water. That's when the ecologist had a light bulb moment. What if the land was doing even more? What if all that healthy grass was helping to solve climate change by sucking CO2 out of the air and storing it safely underground? If it was, it would be a major climate breakthrough. John brought in more scientists to conduct soil tests on dozens of ranches in the area to find out. And we found something that was very exciting. It was exciting even to the scientists. We found that where they had sprayed cow manure on top of the grass, those ranches actually had more carbon in the soil. Nobody expected that to happen. Dairy farms were storing the most carbon in the soil. Those farms had been sprayed with large amounts of manure, but that manure had a big downside. Manure produces some of the most powerful greenhouse gases on Earth. So John wanted to find something that was as effective as manure, but wouldn't heat the planet. So we decided to try putting compost on top of the ground to see if we could see the same thing happen. A few months later, John checked to see if it had worked. Where we had put compost, we had a significant amount of grass. It was 50% more grass, and it was beautiful. More importantly, the soil was storing vast amounts of carbon. And over the next few years, John's one application of compost caused the land to store more and more carbon. In fact, it turned out that just one dusting of compost would increase that storage for decades to come. We were really excited about the results that we saw on my ranch. But in order for this to be meaningful, we needed to go take it to other bigger ranches, which is what we did at Stemple Creek with Lauren. When I first heard about applying compost to the land, I was kind of skeptical. Didn't really know that much about it, but figured it's a good opportunity to learn. Spreading compost on his land produced such incredible results, Lauren now makes his own compost. His land has been transformed. When we first started applying compost to the land, it felt really, really good to see. You could actually visually see the results. The grass was greener and deeper and more lush, and it created a lot more biodiversity in the soil and the plant life, and it just felt good. And you could actually look at it and say, man, we were really making a difference by using this practice and building the soil this way. So the compost we're applying now is gonna be sequestering carbon for the next 30 years, which is pretty, pretty epic that we can create that kind of change. And we need that kind of change because agriculture is responsible for a quarter of all greenhouse gas emissions, and that number is growing. That's why in 2008, John co-founded the Marin Carbon Project to spread the idea of carbon farming to as many ranches and farms as possible. We can lower the temperature of the planet right now by increasing how healthy our soils are. What started with John's determination to get rid of weeds is now a blueprint for a revolution in agriculture and a way for farmers to help solve climate change, not make it worse. This version of agriculture actually is a climate solution.
But if John's vision is going to have a global impact, it needs to be adopted by farms and ranches everywhere because it could be as powerful a solution as wind, solar, or EVs in meeting the biggest challenge of our time.